How's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing some Black Ops 3, and I have some things I want to talk about that were just on my mind, and it's gonna be like a live commentary, good old fashioned. Okay, there was like airs on, so you probably hear that. But I have something I want to talk about today. It's a little different, but let's just talk about YouTube and Call of Duty for a second. I mean, I am not an expert. This is just my opinion, and I thought of this. I didn't think of this making a video. I was just thinking to myself. I've been thinking about it. You can, uh, if you really want to confirm that, you can ask Ace. I've been thinking about this for the past for a while, um, and I don't know why it is. Well, I'm pretty sure I know why, but. I don't know if it's just me, but in my opinion, Call of Duty is just slowly dying. And I don't mean that as in Call of Duty is going to end as a game, because I think they broke records and stuff on the sales of Black Ops 3, and this is a great game, I'm not even going to lie. But YouTube, Call of Duty on YouTube is rapidly decreasing. And I don't, I'm not sure, but I think I have like reasoning as to why it's decreasing so much. Because it used to be one of the biggest things on YouTube, like without a doubt. Um, people would get, like even back in like Modern Warfare 3 when it was really taking off, people would drop like 100 kill games and upload that. They'd get, I know a guy that he got a quad feed with every gun in Modern Warfare 3 and it got like millions of views. But he did it in Advanced Warfare 2, and it didn't get nearly as many views. Um, it's just that I think what it is, is after all these years, Call of Duty's been around. They, people have been uploading COD videos since, like, what, Black Ops 1? I mean, COD 4, there was YouTube videos, but it was really just the game that everybody was in love with. And then the YouTube thing started, like, people would base their opinions on what other YouTubers say. That's why I loved Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare was my favorite, fa one of, I would even, like, it was my favorite Call of Duty for, in a while. I'm not one of the old-fashioned hipsters, old COD 4 was the greatest game ever. No, I enjoyed Advanced Warfare, but it didn't do near as good just because of all the people complaining about it. And when the COD community, like YouTube community, they complain about it. People aren't going to buy the game. They aren't going to enjoy the game like everybody else is. They're just going to complain until the next Call of Duty comes out. Um, but that's not what this is about. This is about how it's literally dying on YouTube. Like, I don't know about you guys, but when I, I used to watch Call of Duty YouTubers, all their Call of Duty videos, no matter what, I just watch them because I enjoyed them. But now, a lot of the Call of Duty YouTubers aren't doing Call of Duty videos anymore because they don't do near as good. Rain's stopping to do them because it's just the same old thing. Um, Nade Shot, he barely uploads on his main channel anymore because he all he's doing is grinding the game. He enjoys it, but he's it's not like he he uploads vlogs and things like that. And I'll click on the vlogs because I enjoy watching vlogs and things like that. But when he uploads a Call of Duty on a video on his main channel, I just don't watch it. So I don't, I can't blame anyone for not wanting to upload Call of Duty right now, because it's just dying. I mean, there's not much other things you could say besides, on YouTube, Call of Duty is not doing near as good as it has ever done in the past. I don't know why, and uh, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I, in my opinion, it's just been overdone so much. Even small channels like mine, to so to say, if they, ch you cannot start a new Call of Duty channel out of nowhere and just like start getting subscribers because there's so many out there. I'm not just a Call of Duty YouTube channel though. I upload what I want to upload because I enjoy making videos and things like that. But it's just slowly dying on YouTube because it's been so overdone. There's so many Call of Duty channels, so many Call of Duty videos uploaded on a daily basis that you can't upload a video without some without copying someone's video. Someone's probably made a video just like this. This was just on my mind. So I decided to do it. It's not like I'm copying anybody. I just thought it would be something to upload, you know? Wow. Really wasted that specialist. Anyways, I think that if you do, if you have a favorite something or you're into something, 
let's say your favorite movie. If you watch your favorite movie so many times, it's gonna stop being your favorite movie because you've seen it so many times. If you're eat, if you think something's your favorite food and you eat that thing every day, it's not gonna be your favorite food anymore. And I think that's kind of what happened to Call of Duty videos. People enjoyed them so much that they just constantly watched them. And you know, Ali A, he's got a shit ton of subscribers. T Martin, he's doing different things too now. Drifter, he hit a million subscribers. He, those, these guys are have been around since Black Ops One, basically, and they are still doing it. But and their videos are still getting views. But it's because the their fans enjoy watching them. The call new Call of Duty videos don't do near as good as they used to. If you aren't getting like hundred kill gameplays, your video don't expect your video to do that well. And then there's this cut, cut calm thing where it's not even about the gameplay anymore. They're just basically cutting after every sentence they say. No offense, anyone. I Jev is he. I still watch every single one of his videos because he's fucking hilarious. Whether it's cut calm or not, I enjoy Jev's videos. But everyone tries to do it, and it's just retarded because you just end up cutting up a bunch of gameplay that half the time you don't even get barely any kills. I've done it. I've done gameplays where I get fucking four kills and still cut it up and made a decent looking cut calm. Hello. Oh, he's dead. So, I think it's just been overdone so much that it's basically non... You, if you want to grow a COD channel, you should you have to do something like people aren't doing. Because everything has been done. So, it's really hard to do something different that will attract a bunch of people's attention. I don't really have any recommendations at all because I have no idea. It's everything has been done. I don't know how else to say it. It's just been Call of Duty and YouTube. Call of Duty is one of the first things that like really took off on YouTube. Well, I don't know. Bit my Charlie was kind of a thing for a while. Or bit my bit my Charlie. Charlie bit my finger. That was the most viewed video, and now it's like Miley Cyrus or Miley Cyrus wrecking ball, fucking all kinds of other stupid videos like that. But YouTube is so big now that it's hard for any channels to grow. PewDiePie is still the fucking, literally the god of YouTube. And there's probably never going to be another channel that reaches the level of that PewDiePie is at. It's just so hard for people to even get close to that. I don't know. It's just weird, you know? Like, Call of Duty videos were fucking amazing at one time. Like, I remember watching Monofire 3 spawn traps with the Javelin, and, I mean, the video didn't do very good, but, I mean, it, it had a shit ton of views and a shit ton of dislikes, but, I mean, it was, people would drop, like, 100 bombs, and people would enjoy actually watching them. And then the commentaries, commentary was a huge thing, and people enjoyed watching commentaries, but then people started doing Cut comms, Jev got, Jev's channel took off because he was doing cut comms, and then everybody started copying him. I'm sure there was cut comms before Jev, but Jev really made it popular. People started copying him, and then it, it's, if you, 90% of Call of Duty videos today are cut comms. There, there's not, barely any live commentaries like I'm doing now, or Rain did the other day because he was trying to, he's, he's done doing cut commentaries, pretty much what he said. He's going to change things up because they just, they don't. People can say whatever they want, but they, just, they do not do near as good on YouTube as any other videos. It's just, I don't know why, but that's a thing. They don't do near as good as other videos. And I don't know why people have just overdone it. There's anything you want to find on a COD video, you can find it on YouTube now. Everyone has done so many things with just fucking random stuff. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. There's channels dedicated to Call of Duty that make good videos that they can't get anyone because people are just stuck on Ali A or they don't want to watch Call of Duty anymore. I don't know. I thought I'd s say something about that because it's a thing out there. Like you, If you want to, s don't start a Call of Duty YouTube channel. Do something where you, YouTube, don't start YouTube just because you want to play one game. Do YouTube recording whatever you want to record. Don't say, oh, I'm going to be a Call of Duty YouTuber. Say, 
I just want to upload YouTube videos because that's the best way to do it. Upload the upload videos that you enjoy, not what other people want to see because Call of Duty is not what they want to see. But upload videos that you enjoy making because they'll probably do better anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like. And I'll